Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Do you remember the ABC sitcom, Just the Ten of Us from the late 1980s? In this video, I'm taking a look back at that show and what led to ABC's really dumb decision to cancel it. Just the Ten of Us was a spin-off of the hit sitcom, Growing Pains. The show debuted on April 26, 1988, following an episode of Growing Pains, which was on Tuesday nights at the time. It's a special night for Growing Pains. How can I ever thank you? Well, could, could you spare a couple of your daughters? You met them at the Caesars. Now they've got their own show. Homie. Seven kids and three bedrooms. Oh, Mom and Dad are just going to have to sleep in the car. Just the Ten of Us premieres after a special Growing Pains, Tuesday. Just the Ten of Us was created by Dan Gunselman and Steve Marshall, who had been working together on WKRP in Cincinnati. Stand-up comedian Bill Kirkenbauer, who had been playing the recurring character of Coach Graham Lubbock, the high school gym coach on Growing Pains, would play the same character on Just the Ten of Us. The basic premise of the new show was that Coach Lubbock loses his teaching job in Long Island, New York, but soon receives an offer to teach at St. Augustine's Academy, an all-boys private Catholic school in Eureka, California. So Coach Lubbock and his pregnant wife Elizabeth make the decision to uproot their family and move to California. The show was a modest hit for ABC with decent ratings. In fact, a week after the series debut, it placed 7th in ratings, and the second season would garner a total of 20.1 million viewers. As the show would progress, the stories would increasingly focus on Coach Lubbock's four teenage daughters, the oldest of which was Marie, played by Heather Langenkamp of Nightmare on Elm Street fame. Next was Cindy, played by Jamie Lunar of Melrose Place fame, and her twin, Wendy, played by Brooke Theis. Last is Connie, played by Joanne Willett. Although the show would change its time slot and the night it aired a few different times, it eventually became part of ABC's successful Friday night TGIF lineup. Nevertheless, despite garnering decent ratings and winning its time slot, the show was abruptly canceled in the spring of 1990. And what was the reason for the show's cancellation? Well, during the 1989-1990 television season, the TGIF lineup consisted of Perfect Strangers, Full House, and Family Matters, all developed by production company Miller Boyett. And Just the Ten of Us was not a Miller Boyett show. All four were family-oriented series. ABC, which had a deal with Miller Boyette to create a new series, wanted the company to develop a more adult-oriented show to serve as the lead-in to its 10 p.m. news program, 2020. Thus, the sitcom Going Places, starring Alan Ruck and Heather Locklear, was created. From the producers of Full House and Perfect Strangers comes a new show predicated on this simple yet terrifying notion. What if you live with the people you worked with? <coughs> Going Places, a comedy that hits close to home. Coming this fall to ABC. And with no available time slot on the other nights of the week in which to place just the ten of us, ABC said they had no choice but to cancel the series. And going places? Well, it was a ratings disaster, and it was canceled in the spring of 1991. Ironically, the 48 episodes of Just the Ten of Us were sold into syndication to the USA Network, where they had great ratings. After the cancellation of Going Places, ABC publicly admitted that canceling Just the Ten of Us had been a mistake. Going Places would be replaced by another family-oriented Miller Boyette show, Step by Step, starring Patrick Duffy and Suzanne Somers in the fall of 1991. Here's one last picture of the actors who played the coach and his wife along with their four teenage daughters together again years after the show had been canceled and it's great to see them all looking so happy. Now how many of you agree with me that ABC made a really dumb mistake in canceling just the ten of us? And did anyone even watch Going Places? While I love both Alan Ruck and Heather Locklear, Going Places wasn't something I watched. Now, I look forward to reading your comments. Also, I would greatly appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel, where I generally talk about the music, movies, and TV shows that I loved and watched from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe out there and have a great day.